Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we've got a big problem that has been discovered, and it's really, really dumb, too. Um, it's because of the lack of being responsible in security of many manufacturers that nearly 200 plus models of PCs from different manufacturers are compromised with secure boot that is completely broken and in total more than 500 devices of pretty much every manufacturer is in a big big problem with secure boot so what is secure boot first of all secure boot was started somewhere around 2012 it's a digital signature that is with the BIOS and anything that wants to modify it, anything that wants to run has to have the check mark and the proper key to continue on and have what is a secure PC. The idea came way before it ever happened, but it was to safeguard your BIOS from being uh, injected with malware. So by having a security key that you need to know, that cryptographic key would prevent any access to the BIOS. So in fact, it was actually very secure and the idea was pretty good until something happened and some cryptographic keys were disclosed. Now you might say, okay, but don't they change these keys all the time? That's what we think and that's what it should be. The problem is we've kind of been in a cycle where a lot of the cryptographic keys have been recycled, meaning pretty much uh, enterprise that makes these devices is just too darn lazy to follow the rules and make sure that the keys are always different and the keys change all the time. So this was a security feature that was pushed by Microsoft and the US National Security Agency. The problem is that now the cryptographic keys are known because there was a leak and in the leak major manufacturer cryptographic keys were in a list which means anybody that wants to inject malware into those BIOS well you have the key it's as if you'd live in an apartment building and that everybody would have the same lock and the same key, which means anybody could go in anybody else's apartment. It's pretty much what's happening now. And although that list was gone, it's still known, and it is um, compromised. And <laughs> the worst part is that tons and tons of manufacturers continue to use the same cryptographic key. And this was actually uncovered in 215 devices. And I mean, it's not from, you know, weird companies, too. And that's the worst part. It's Acer, Dell, Gigabyte, Intel, and Supermicro. So by using a compromised key, these models are easily and can be spoofed, and you can just inject whatever malware in the bootloader which is by the way undetectable by antivirus for the most part which means if you're infected you don't know unless some weird behavior happens on your PC and your antivirus is completely useless about it that's why I always say you can't trust antivirus none of them see this that's very clear so here is an example of the uh, signature that you see here at the bottom. That, that signature here that was the serial number and another one here 
with the public key that's here partly shown is a do not trust key. So the AMI test that was done from security researchers could see all the bad cryptographic keys that were stolen and reused by manufacturers. So what happens now? From here, the only way to fix this is that every device that has been using reusing the cryptographic key be updated in the firmware. So these manufacturers, and if you have a device that's compromised, you will need to have a firmware update to fix this issue. Um, now, how does this issue happen? Of course, you got to be infected with something that will do that, which means it's not just, you know, using your PC on the Internet. It's clicking a file that will start the process of having all of this happen. So it's not like something super easy to exploit, but it is exploitable. And if you're not careful on the internet, if you ever come across malware and you have that problem, it, it's not impossible that you could be infected to the first layer, that UFI BIOS of your machine. And that becomes almost practically impossible to fix. It's very, very difficult when you are with malware at that level. So it's a major issue and it's a major issue of dumb manufacturers not doing things correctly. And so um, hopefully they will issue fixes quite quickly and hopefully they're not going to be stupid in the future. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.